Welcome to the Z1 Analyzer. In this video, we are going to talk about the new Select Lap dialog available in version 2020.3 of the Analyzer. There's a lot to talk about in this uh, new dialog. We have a whole new layout, easier sort options, favorite cars, favorite drivers. So let's get started. So here's the new Open Lap dialog uh, in version 2020.3. Uh, the way you get here is on the file open lap um, option, and that shows the dialog. So there's four main sections to this dialog. The first right here uh, is uh, the options. So these used to be in the settings dialog in previous versions, but they've been moved here because that makes sense because they affect what you see when you're opening laps. So the first is share laps. Uh, if you uncheck that, then the only laps you will see are the laps that you have driven that are on your computer. Uh, if you check share laps, then you also see laps from other drivers that you can download from our server. Uh, if you are sharing laps, that also means when you open one of your laps, it will be uploaded to our server so that others can download it. So basically, if you share your laps, you can then download other people's laps as well. Uh, the next option is this include server tracks. So this means uh, if, you, if you don't have this checked, then the tracks listed under the sim will only be those which you have driven laps for. Um, but if you want to see, if, oh, sorry, if you want to download a lap from a track which you have not driven on, you would want to check off this include server tracks. And then you can see here my number of tracks available is 225. If I uncheck this, there's only 53, because I've only driven on 53 of the tracks. So this allows you to uh, download a lap from a track that you have not driven on. Uh, again, you must have share laps turned on to um, turn on include server tracks. Um, Rescan laps. Before you, uh, oh, sorry, after you've driven a lap, you need to scan your computer for these laps. So, uh, if you come here and you find that you haven't, you, so if you come here and you find that you've driven some laps but you're not seeing them, you probably need to to do a lap scan. So, click this rescan lap button, and that will take you to the lap scan dialog. Do a lap scan, and then it will bring you back here when you're finished, so you can find your lap. Okay. Uh, the next section is pretty simple. It's where you select your sim and then the lap that you want to, or sorry, the track that you want to um, view in that sim. Uh, so this will list all the ones that you have driven and then you can choose the track you're interested in as well. And once you do that, we come down here to the next section, which is your laps. This section shows you all the laps that you have driven uh, in the selected sim and track that are currently on your computer. Uh, and then below that, this is laps from other drivers, again for the selected sim and the selected track uh, that are available for you to download uh, from our servers. So once you have uh, the sim and track selected, you want to find the lap that you want to open. Uh, when you have just a few number of laps like this, it's fairly easy. They're all displayed. Uh, when you have a larger number of laps like this, you need to be able to uh, find those laps. So there are various ways that you can move through the laps in this uh, dialog. You can use the mouse wheel just to scroll up and down, or you can use the uh, up and down keys on your keyboard um, to move through uh, the selected lap. And then if I get to the bottom of um, my laps, it will jump to the uh, lap from other drivers if I continue to click the up or down keys. And again, if I go up, it comes up from the, the other drivers to uh, my laps. And the tab key can also be used to quickly move back and forth. So if I click tab, it switches back and forth down here to back up here. So once you've uh, found the lap you want to open, obviously the next step is to actually open that lap. There are various ways to do that, uh, depending on what you can do. You can use a uh, double click on it. 
you can right click and then choose one of the options of open lap or open as base lap. Uh, and remember the lap, uh, if you choose open as lap, that's the main lap. If you want to compare to another lap, you would choose open as base lap. So you can have two laps open at the same time. One is the main lap and one is the base lap. Uh, and you can do that on any of the laps that uh, are displayed here. You can also use the uh, keyboard shortcuts. So here you see that if you hit enter, that's the same thing as choosing open lap, or control enter is the same thing as choosing open as base lap. So let's talk about sorting these laps. Uh, if you have a small number of laps uh, as uh, here, just seven, then sorting is not really uh, a big deal. But if you have a lot of laps here, uh, 63 for example, you might want to be able to sort these to um, better find the lap you're looking for. So these headers here, car, driver, lap time, uh, sector, date, weather, uh, and also in your section, lap number, um, you can click on these to choose how you're going to sort those laps. So if I click on lap number, it sorts either up or down by lap number. The same thing for lap time. Uh, the sectors will cycle through. So this sorts by sector one times, sector two times, sector three, and however many sectors are in the lap, you can keep clicking this to uh, sort through those and get the fastest sector time um, that you've driven in the particular laps. And the same thing down here, you can click by lap time, by the driver name, the car type, um, or um, weather conditions. There is uh, another sort option under right click, which is the sort by cars first. This basically groups cars together. So if you notice here, I have uh, an Audi, a BMW, uh, some a Dallara, and this option is sort by cars first is selected. So the car will always be the first sort option here. So if I sort by lap time right now, um, it will sort first by the car, so the Audi and then the lap times, and then the BMW and all their lap times. So this can make it easier to find the car or the lap you're looking for if you have multiple cars listed. If you uncheck this option, then it just does it purely by whatever you selected. So right now I have lap time, so it's just the fastest lap time first regardless of the car. And you can see here that the cars uh, will get mixed up um, because we're not taking them into account. And if I go back and choose sort by cars first, turn that on, and now I'm back to having my car sort first and then whatever sort option I chose next. So let's talk about uh, filtering the lap results that you have in the window. Uh, if you have a few laps here, just showing seven, then filtering isn't a big uh, deal because you can see all seven at once. If you have a lot of laps, down here we have 63, it might be useful to be able to filter these down so you're not looking at a huge list of uh, laps. If you right click, um, you get these options, filter cars and dates, and right click down here, you also have filtered drivers. Uh, the filter driver option doesn't exist for your laps because it's always going to be you as a driver. Um, but for down here, there may be other drivers, um, well, there will be other drivers um, that you want to filter by. So this list is alphabetical, and it shows the top uh, 20 uh, alphabetically sorted drivers who have driven a lap uh, based on your current selection. So right now, that would be Lime Rock uh, at iRacing. If I choose this full drivers list, then I get this new window, and it says that there are a total of 26 drivers, and I can choose which ones uh, I want to see. And you can scroll up and down using the mouse wheel, or uh, just dragging this uh, scroll bar on the right. So uh, right now they're all displayed, and I can toggle driver on or off in my display using these buttons, or I can do a select none, a select all, um, to get, uh, to get the, the driver displayed that I want. So say I just want to have this one displayed, I can select none and then choose that, click OK. And now I just see the, the laps from that one driver. Alternatively, if the driver shows up here, I can add them in using this, or I can choose here, show all drivers. Now when I come here, if all drivers are displayed, 
and I just choose uh, one, that has the effect of unchecking all the other drivers and just showing me this one driver I want to see here. So uh, let's talk about favorites. Um, we have an option called favorite drivers and this is for if you have a driver or drivers that you work with a lot, perhaps they're a team member or something like that, and you want to be able to see their laps easily, you can make them one of your favorite drivers. So to do that, you go to the view full list of drivers. I'm going to select all. And this star here on the right, I'm sorry, on the left, uh, if you click it, then that adds that particular driver to your list of favorite drivers. So I've added these three drivers. I'm going to click OK. And now when I go to filter driver, I can look at my favorite drivers here and these show up here. So if, if you have a long, long list of drivers, this is just a great quick shortcut to show the drivers that you are interested in. So then I can click on them and I see my favorite driver. So you can also filter by cars. Um, if I right click and choose filter cars, it's the same as uh, the driver filter. You have an alphabetical list of cars um, that are included in the current list of laps. And you can select them just as you would a driver. I'm going to show all my cars. And you can also choose to add them to a list of favorites. So I've added the Audi and the Porsche 911 as a favorite car. I'll click OK on that. And then my favorite cars are here. And this is a quick way for me to find um, what I want to see um, quickly with regard to cars. So the final filter type is the date. And uh, you can choose uh, how far back you want to go on uh, the laps that get displayed. So by default, uh, all laps are shown. And again, this is the same up here. All laps are shown. If you want to reduce the number of laps, uh, so let's show all cars so we get to see everything, all 63 laps. If I want to see, I just want uh, laps driven in the last month, let's say, I can click that. And now, instead of seeing all 63 laps, I'm seeing uh, five laps out of the 63. And again, applied filters, here is the date. And uh, this is just within the last month that these particular laps were driven. Now, when you have a filter applied, um, it does say here, uh, my filter, applied filter is a car. Again, here I have no filters. If I also select a driver, then it will say I have applied filters of a driver and the car. And in this case, the combination of filters I have means that there are no laps that actually match those. So that's why I don't see anything here. So I'm going to go back and uh, show all drivers. So this has been an overview of the new Select Lap Dialog in version 2020.3 of the Z1 Analyzer. Uh, we think this is a much easier way to find your laps and to find laps from other drivers. Uh, hopefully this has been a useful video. Um, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll have more videos like this coming up soon.